Hello everyone, Oyster Mushroom Expert here. Today I will talk about processing raw materials with hot water. We call this method hydrothermy. From the words hydro and translation means water and thermo means temperature. If you use this method, but you call it differently, write in the comments what you call it. I'm interested. I think it would be correct to call this method hot water pasteurization. But, in mushroom growing, when they say the expression pasteurization of the substrate, they usually mean pasteurization with steam. This pasteurization is carried out in a tunnel. This is a different method. The tunnel is also called a pasteurizer. It has a fan that pushes a stream of air and steam through the substrate, heating it up to 70 degrees Celsius. In the hot water pasteurization method, we heat the water to such a temperature that the substrate is the same 70 degrees. The short instructions will be like this. 1. Pour the dry raw materials into polypropylene bags. 2. If necessary, add lime. I have a separate video on how to add lime to bags. 3. Place them in a container. 4. Fill with water. There are different methods. You can fill it with cold water and leave it to soak. You can fill it with hot water and immediately carry out heat treatment. How to do it better? We'll talk about that too. 5. Heat treatment for several hours, depending on the properties of the raw material. 6. Drain the water and cool the substrate. Now let's take a closer look. Raw material processing temperature. Heat treatment during hydrothermal treatment occurs in the range from 68 to 73 degrees. The temperature cannot be lowered, as the mold spores will not die. It cannot be raised above 75 degrees due to the phenomenon of thermal activation of spores. After thermal activation, mold spores open in the cooled substrate and after 4 to 5 days wet spots are visible on the substrate into which the mycelium does not germinate. By day 6 to 7 you will already see green mold. Therefore, you must maintain this temperature range. If you do it differently and everything is fine, that's okay. But if you have substrate defects, pay attention to measuring the temperature. Measure the temperature in the substrate, not in the water. The water can be 85 C. What is the temperature in the substrate? You don't know. Sensor thermometers should be located in bags of substrate. It is advisable to have two to three sensors at different heights from the bottom of the container. It is necessary to control the temperature in the substrate. If wheat or sunflower germinate in the substrate after treatment, what was the temperature when the substrate was treated? In those places where living seeds remained, which then began to grow, it is no more than 40 degrees, otherwise these embryos, which are called endosperm, would die. The coprinous mushroom grows if the temperature of the substrate was low, plus there is a lot of nitrogen in the substrate itself. How long does it take to process raw materials? We keep sunflower husks in hot water for no more than 4 hours at a temperature of 67 to 70 degrees, so that there are no problems with high substrate humidity. If the husk is thin and crumbles easily, 3 hours may be enough. This needs to be established experimentally. We keep the straw in hot water at a temperature of 68 to 72 degrees for 6 to 8 hours, maybe 10. You need to experiment so that it does not get too wet. Why do we process straw longer? Straw gets wet more slowly and contains much more dust. Therefore, there are more pathogen spores in the straw. The straw has a waxy layer. The longer the straw is stored, the smaller this layer is, but during processing it is present. Hot water should dissolve the wax and only after that the water will be absorbed into the straw. Is it possible to immediately pour hot water over dry raw materials? Opponents of pre-soaking say that soaking does not allow the spores to swell. Indeed, spores of different microorganisms have different swelling times, up to 15 to 20 hours, but we are only interested in the competitors of oyster mushrooms. 
Therefore, the decision whether to soak or not to soak raw materials depends on many factors. If the raw material is clean, fresh, free of dust and its humidity does not exceed 10 to 12 percent, you can conduct an experiment and immediately fill it with hot water. However, if the raw material has a beautiful appearance, but its humidity exceeds 15 to 16 percent, microbiological processes begin there. Such as the development of mold spores, especially if you see mouse or rat excrement in the raw materials. Sunflower husks absorb moisture from the surrounding air, especially in autumn, when there is fog or constant rain. Husk humidity increases during three to four weeks of storage. It may look absolutely beautiful and dry, but microorganisms will already be starting to develop. In places where these microorganisms grow, the humidity becomes even higher due to the fact that heat and carbon dioxide are released there. If you immediately fill the raw material with hot water, then it is not known how many spores are in it and at what stage of development. Therefore, if there is a defective substrate, it is necessary to pre-soak the raw material. The second danger is that the raw materials may not have time to absorb water without soaking. If you fill it with hot water and drain it after a few hours, the humidity of the substrate may be low, that is, the raw material does not have time to become saturated with water. Sometimes the analysis shows a good humidity of 68 to 69 percent, and after two to three days in the incubator, water flows down the block. That is, this moisture will not get to the mushrooms. If water collects in the corners of the bag, it means that this moisture includes not only bound water absorbed into the substrate, but also water that was freely located between the particles of the substrate. As a result, the humidity will not be 68%, as it turned out during the measurement, but 65-66%. to 66%. You can take this bag after incubation and retest. Do a moisture test from the center of the block and near the plastic film. You will see that the humidity is lower in the center and higher under the film. At such low humidity, mushrooms will not develop well. If you fill the raw material with hot water without first soaking, it is very important to measure the temperature in the substrate. Now I will explain why. If you soak raw materials and then heat the water, you have to monitor the temperature in the substrate so as not to overheat it and to know that it has heated up to the desired temperature. And if you immediately fill it with hot water, which has a temperature of, for example, 90 degrees Celsius or almost boiling, you, of course, think that the substrate will probably warm up to 68 degrees. But it is not always the case. In the next final video I will explain why. And what kind of defect will happen if you do not control the temperature of the substrate in this case? That's all for today, bye everyone.